When I first saw the footage from the camp, I just couldn't contain my excitement. So here today to look at uh, the hoof count automatic foot bath, which you can see behind. But on the front of this bath, quite uniquely, is a camera positioned as the cows exit the foot bath. The camera then takes a video of the hoofs and using that video and machine learning, we can then look at detecting digital dermatitis early. So what we've seen so far is quite exciting. Lameness is seen as one of the biggest challenges facing the dairy industry globally, but particularly in the UK at the moment. So effectively what you'll have is a buildup of bacteria that can grow inside the hoof and that can start to form into a lesion. When we see animals with a challenged mobility, that will affect production, health and welfare, that we'll see a reduction in fertility, reduction in milk yield, and also take time to manage and deal with. The Hoofcam product is going to change the way the dairy industry works with foot trimmers. So reducing digital dermatitis in dairy cows will make a huge difference to the dairy sector in the UK and will increase productivity and it will also support potentially every dairy farmer in the country. So the camera is uh, detecting the cow's body when it comes through. The camera then starts rolling using RFID. It knows which cow it is. By using a high-speed camera, we're able to freeze the important moments. So the camera will try to identify each leg, so which one it is. Is it front left or is it rear right? And as they lift their hoof up to step out, we take that picture, which is then detecting any problems that we see in the hoof itself. We actually spent a lot of time on tuning the camera, including setting it at the right position, uh, its parameters, just to ensure that we get the high quality data. And we keep the camera clean by using a, a quite a simple windscreen washer and a windscreen wiper. Normally we're getting cows in the crush and lifting their feet, and, but of course that takes time. Whereas a camera down at foot level, looking at a clean foot, it's instantaneous without any stress to the cow or the operator. Foot bath can handle any size of herd, it will alert of any problems. It will then also give treatment lists, and then once you, once you treat them, you can tick them off the list. So it's a real good aid to farmers to be able to get the information they want, to be able to treat the cows effectively, efficiently, at the right time. It gives an objective assess assessment, and the information learned is based on different farms, different cows, and different images under different conditions. And getting that data on, on a non-biased basis as well really helps so identifying those true lesions that we need to tackle. We can use those data to train a very reliable model and at the same time use human expertise to, to teach the system about what a lesion looks like, what a hoof looks like, and to outperform actually human performance. So every case of lameness costs £300. If you've got 100 cows, and you've got 30% of lameness within your herd, that's suddenly £9,000 a year. By early detection, we can use much less chemical, have a lot better welfare standards, have a lot better traceability, and overall that will have a lot better carbon footprint for each cow. We have a few partners on this project, the main one being Hoof Count, and they have brought in all the expertise around foot baths and the treatments that we should be issuing onto the cows. The other partner we have is the University of West England. They are working with the robotics team to develop the AI algorithms. The main validations we've been doing is using the gold standard of actually using foot trimmers. We've got some of the leading experts in the country to come down inspect the feet and do a visual inspection. We've also been going to the farms, meeting farmers, scoring the cow's feet. They've actually been impressed with the amount of times that the system has flagged the problems and they've come along and verified that their problems are actually on the cow. So for me to be able to, before I visited, log into a portal or an app and view these images of these cow's feet can prioritise animals on that treatment list. By having the history of the animal, we can understand if our treatments are working well. We can scroll through in an hour and look at and a snapshot of the entire herd's feet and it's really impactful. It won't dictate everything, but it's a really powerful tool in, in the belt. So we've trained a basic algorithm using several farms. We now have to roll that out and teach the algorithm to work on every farm across the country and then start to extend the amount of treatments it can find. With my research hat on, I'm really excited about using this as a tool to monitor lesion progression. To see so many people here today excited about it as well as we are, that's a great testament to what we've got. And so this is going to have a worldwide impact. It's really exciting and, and quite motivating actually for me. To find out more about this project or any other work we're doing, please visit the website.